Hi everybody, this is Odd Samurai and today I'm gonna be reacting to Skip and Loafer episode 8. <laughs> so I'm mostly recovered uh, from a cold, but uh, you know, if you hear my voice going a little funny or you know, <laughs> uh, like coughing or something, that's why. Uh, I had it since like six days ago and only till now I'm feeling uh, good to record again. <laughs> well, since yesterday was like a little, you know, test if I can do it. And, you know, I think I, I, I can do a full anime episode today. <laughs> so let's do that. Last time we had, um, freaking, you know, oh my god. I, I forgot, I'm blanking on her name, but the, the one that became vice president of the student council, Ta Takamine, I think. Um, and, but she wanted to be uh, the, the president, but she wasn't able to. So she was kind of depressed about it, and she was cheered up by uh, Kanechika and Mitsumi. And now she's able to accept what is now, and you know make the fullest out of what she does have and the position that she can, you know, what she can do with her position. <laughs> then we have uh, Shima and Mitsumi kind of going on a date, but not really. Uh, they're going on, on to the two, I think. And we had a new character introduced. Not fully, though, because we don't know her name. Uh, but she... She seems to have a important relationship with Shima, but we don't know what kind of relationship it is. Uh, hopefully she won't be a problem, but we'll have to see. Okay, let's get started in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3... Oh yeah, because she has no fashion sense. April? Oh, okay. She's a stylist. Eh? Right. She must okay? Oh yeah, now Chen was worried about this yeah, last episode. Oh no. Feeling the parental protectiveness. Mabushkute. <laughs> So I wonder now that um now Chan is taking it taking it like that if she's gonna be the chaperone for the mug date. We'll have to see. Man, a skipping lover is so wholesome, I just I'm so glad that I that I'm reacting to it. Mabushkute, Mabushkute. <laughs> Kanoyakani, Kanoyakani. <laughs> A plus water bottle. Oh, okay, we're. She's thinking about this. Childhood friend, huh? 
I wonder if she only considers herself that. Mm, of course, Egashia would be more suspicious about their relationship. She actually went like that. Mm. I got you. That's a really good question. What? Wow, truly incognito. That's now Chan, right? So that's what she's going with, the AC self-introduction. I like the music right now, very chill. You don't have anything to worry about in that front. Okay, sure. No. <laughs> They're very conspicuous right now with the hats and the glasses. Feel very <laughs> obvious. Oh. Now she feels very self aware about having, you know, going here with Shima, just the two of them. No, 
しまーあっ。ああ、just with no fanfare, she's just coming out? お姉さん、はあ。That's not, you don't have, I don't think she has the age for Onei-san. Oh? Oh. Hmm. パンダあー、キュート。They're matching. Yeah, but I don't think she realized that. What is it? Mm -hmm. Maybe his parents only gave attention to his little brother? No. Oh. It seems like she mustn't really think much of him of himself in regards to his family. Mm. Pinsta. Already halfway. Oh, my one is coming to Mitsumi's house. Ah, pajama party. Oh. Mm, Nelson is a, a good chaperone for the kids. She's crying from joy, of course. She moved.
声優Yeah, they, they don't know anything about that. Yeah. Ah, of course. Huh. That's interesting. I had no idea that was a thing. Mako chan doesn't have any idea. Uh, I can imagine that. A little bit, but definitely not more than Egashira. That's that's good. Everyone here probably has that same feeling, except for Mitsumi, who already had a good group of friends before this. Yeah. Oh, Shima. I want to know more about it. Where is she going? Oh. Jenny. Mm, I thought that could be a possibility, but I don't know why. Yeah, she's obviously just putting a front and doesn't want to open up about what she actually feels. Hmm. Oh, 
Mao Chan's glimpse into the into her past. <laughs> mm. Right, especially if it's what you actually want to do. That's a hundred percent true. Where is he going? I would be annoyed as well. Yeah, I don't like her vibes. Hopefully we're gonna figure out why she acts like th like this, other than you know the famous living the famous life. I don't like the way she worded worded that. Yeah. Can she stop that? So she was dealing with his own demons while the the girls have a normal pajama party, huh? Okay, it's done. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't want to talk while that was going on. I just wanted to pay full attention to what was being said. Um, so from what I can extrapolate from that conversation is that Shima is the guy that was being rumored that she had sex with. Um, but I highly doubt, you know, anything happened. Now, I don't think it really matters what they actually did. <laughs> like I said, I highly doubt that was the actual case. So I think she's actually being really unfair with him. Uh, I don't think he definitely deserves to, you know, being ordered and being like, 
and belittling his friends because of that. And just making him, like basically guilt tripping him into doing what she wants. After all, I doubt also that she didn't have a choice on going whatever it is that they went and did. So, and I just, <laughs> this is definitely the worst uh first impression that I've had on a character from this series so far. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully the, the relationship between them will change. Because right now it's, uh, you know, feels kind of toxic. Uh, but yeah, that was the episode. <clears throat> uh, it was mostly just, you know, Nao-chan and Egashira following those two on their not date. Uh, and then the girls having a, a pajama party, which uh, actually, now that I think about it, I didn't even, but yeah, uh, I guess I did go back to it. And then we had, you know, uh, the drama between Shima and his friend, his Osana, Osana Najimi, so yeah. <clears throat> But that, that was my reaction to it. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.